All right, beautiful people. So, um, my grandfather one time said, uh, nothing happens unless somebody does something. And as you guys can see, the truck is still gone. It's off doing truck stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's not broken. Well, all right, it might be broken, but um, it's Sunday, a week before this video is due to be published, and I haven't started editing yet. So, I need to do something. You know, it's always at this part, at this point in time, when I look at it and I go, ah, you know, there's only a few people watching the videos. Is anybody really even going to notice if I don't post for one cycle, right? Like if I just let it go for one cycle. But then there's another part of me that knows that once I do that, I'm just going to keep doing it. And I'll just keep not posting and then that'll be me saying that I guess I'm giving up so uh it's actually kind of a rainy day and I've got some stuff to take care of like I gotta change the oil on the Toyota and um it's rainy I don't necessarily want to go out in the rain and do that but I need to so I'm gonna take care of that later on but for now I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to start working through editing this video. Now there's one thing that I definitely wanted to show you guys that I don't think I'm going to have time or be able to. And that is to show you guys what the brakes look like taken all the way apart. And uh, I'd hoped that I'd have the truck back and I could take off the back wheel and take off the back um, rotor and show you guys what the parking brake looks like all taken apart. Uh, but the truck's off doing truck stuff. So. Um, we're going to let the truck keep doing truck stuff and we're going to go ahead and get back inside and get to work. And then hopefully in a week, we will be publishing a video. So, um, if you guys are seeing this, then I guess I got it done and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Have a great rest of your day. So where we left off on the Titan last time was we had the rotors off after I biffed on them with a hammer for God knows how long. And then we got the parking brake taken apart. So basically you take out the little clips and the whole thing falls apart. And then now was the nightmare of trying to put it back together. So the speedometer is reading zero. The tachometer is like at 1500 RPM. And we are definitely moving, right? Speedometer reads zero, but we're moving. So there is a brake light on in the vehicle and the speedometer doesn't work. So we are also going to be replacing the wheel speed sensor. Um, I did want to replace all of the parking brake hardware, but um, Amazon kind of messed up on that one. So let's see, get the real speed sensor loose. And that's actually coming out really easily. Something that I am a little bit concerned about when it comes to this vehicle is how easily some of these things seem to come apart and come out. And the fact that these issues are still there. Now the, it looks like the ring for the um, ABS brake or the ABS system looks like that is fine. Uh, it's, you know, a little dirty, but it's not broken or anything. And the ABS sensor, I mean, everything in here has a ton of dirt on it. And I don't know if the previous owner just like got a bunch of dirt on everything in order to cover up things that were wrong or if they, you know, um, 
were just things that were wrong. But in any case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep on working on it and hopefully I'll make some progress. I don't want to damage anything though. And the key thing here is I don't know what I'm doing at all. I'm probably just going to mess things up even worse than they already are. All right. So here is the passenger side wheel speed sensor. You'll notice that the little clip thing is gray. So I will replace this with the gray one. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason I seem to have forgotten to record myself doing this on the other side of the truck. Um, but I sprayed everything down with brake clean before I put the sensor back because the sensor has plastic parts on it and I didn't want the brake clean to dissolve the sensor. I'm also scrubbing it with a copper brush and uh, when I looked up online they said to use a copper brush, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm basically cleaning all of the brake dust off of the ABS sensor wheel, which is like a toothed wheel that spins around and as it passes by the sensor, then the sensor knows, you know, how fast the wheel is spinning. So after you attach the sensor, I'm just rerouting the wire using the same clips and grommets that were already there. And the reason why this is important is because the, as the wheel travels using the suspension, you don't want the wire to get ripped out or anything like that. And so this OEM wire has grommets in all the right places so that nothing gets strained as the axle moves up and down. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna replace the this thing. And so the way this works, this is actually, this is probably the most fiddly part about this. So pop that in there. And then this doesn't exactly fit through that slot. So if you're wondering what's going on here, this clip is supposed to clip to the wire that gets pulled when you push the brake, and it's impossible to put this damn thing in, but I did manage to do it, it just, it wasn't pretty. Okay, so you know how earlier I said this was really fiddly to do? That is a massive understatement. This is super painful, especially given how I'm doing it, right? So here I am kind of kneeling and hunched over and trying to get all of these parts to line up 
and because they're held together with springs, everything is under tension. So you're hunched over and you're trying to push things into place and everything is covered in grease because you had to grease the back of the, the brake thing there so that it would slide properly. And then the stupid clip won't line up. And now you're just getting grease all over everything. And you know, you're not, you don't want grease on everything. You just want grease on the mating surfaces. And then every time you think you just about have it, you look and something else is not lined up properly somewhere else. So there the pins fallen out. And basically you're just struggling because you don't have eight arms and you're hunched over and now your abs hurt because you're, you know, using your abs to hold yourself up and you're trying to press this stupid clip into place. And it's, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't want to go cause it's a spring and it, you know, it's just going to spring and you need needle nose pliers, but the needle nose pliers that you have aren't thin enough to fit into that gap so that you can press that stupid spring clip into place and everything's still covered in grease. And so the whole job, I mean, it, it's, it's painful and it's frustrating and it, it's not fun. Uh, obviously if you had a lift and you could stand up straight and do this, it might be better, but on your knees, absolutely not. All right. So this bit is actually just so freaking painful for me to watch and edit. And part of the reason is because again, it's like, you feel like you're getting something, you're getting somewhere and then the whole freaking thing just falls apart again. I know I probably should have time-lapsed this or something, but I got to editing and the whole experience was just, like the, the experience of editing this was so frustrating. And it was frustrating to watch, so I figured you should suffer just as much as I do. <laughs> have fun with that. Okay, so we are looking for 63 millimeters. And you've got two springs. One weaker spring.
that's in place. Oh my goodness. So the truth here is this job was kind of a nightmare and it just seemed like every time you got everything to fit in place it would all just spring back apart again and I kept having to redo you know it's like you get one part in and then you go to the next part and the first part would fall out I don't know I think there's a reason why they charge so much money to do this if you take it into a shop. And, uh, totally understand. beautiful people. I'm gonna need to shout because I'm talking over a generator. Uh, we just had a major windstorm this weekend and it knocked out power. So the generator's running. Uh, as you can see, the yard is more of a mess than it normally is. Uh, we had several trees come down on the property. Um, luckily, none of the cars were damaged, none of the houses were damaged, none of the people or pets were damaged. 
So we're all okay, and we've got a generator, as you can hear. So um, it's going to be a couple days of inconvenience, and outside of that, we're fine. So one thing, I hope that I captured just how frustrating this job was in this video. Um, having the brakes keep falling apart as you're trying to put them together because you're using springs, uh, it's, uh, it's so frustrating, so annoying, but we got it done and the truck has parking brakes and rear brakes, so we're happy. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.